The Beat for Peace continues in San Francisco. The Beat started in January and will continue through the April elections and January 2011 when Southern Sudan may choose to become a separate country. The Bay Area is home to many Southern Sudanese who fled Sudan for one reason. Uh, what's caused me to leave Sudan is civil war, which broke out in 1983. I leave Sudan because of civil war. I left Sudan and came to the United States because of civil war that has been going on for the last 23 years. Civil war? I left Sudan because of civil war between North and South. The war ended in 2005 and Sudan is preparing for its first multi-party election in over 20 years. We hope this election will give a voice to civilian and all Sudanese. And I also want to see the people of the South get organized and then prepare for the next election that is going to take place in January of 2011. So by having an election, we hope that the people of Sudan will choose an elected government. We will represent their views and their, uh, their choice. What I do hope from the election is just to to let the Sudanese have their right to vote fairly. Because since we were born, or before even we were born, no any fair election in Sudan happened. So we're hoping that this election may give people a hope in order to express their view and their opinion to elect, to elect the leader they want. Unfortunately, the government of Sudan has not created an environment that will allow for free and fair elections. Uh, doing a lot of stuff rigging elections and so it's possible that the elections would not be actually fair and um, legitimate. There will be corrupted people who don't want Sudan to achieve the goal to get their freedom. Which means like you know if election is being done and people are not counted, people are not registered, they will not vote and this will affect their, uh, the outcome of the election. In addition, there are fears that these elections will bring an increase in violence and in human rights violations. The concern is maybe the war might be broke out or because people, they don't come together. That's my concern. The Sudanese are asking for international support. A lot of corruption is going on and uh, I want international community uh, to watch election. I hope that the international community would be able to um, stay involved and stay engaged, follow the elections and see that the elections are fair and if not, then they have to pressure the Sudanese government. Watch how the election is going to go and see it goes smoothly and goes uh, in a fair way that it needs to be. We need international community to get involved, to engage in, in the election of Sudan. The international community to monitor all the elections uh, so that we're going to have a freedom of uh, in our country. We encourage international leaders to follow our own local leaders in supporting the people of Sudan. I urge the government of Sudan to uphold its responsibility to the people of the Sudan and I'll be working with community-based groups and our coalition locally to monitor any violence or violations of human rights and speaking out with the Bay Area Coalition against any uh, violations of people's human rights in the Sudan. You too can help. Join the Sudan Watch at sudan365.org and keep the beat, the beat for peace.